This is a screen that might come up when you're doing an installation of an operating system on VirtualBox, and it's a scary kind of screen. It says, fatal, no bootable medium found, system halted. It's scary because it has the word fatal on it, but what you need to keep in mind is that the fatal error is on the virtual PC that you're operating in VirtualBox, not on your actual PC that you're working on. So take a deep breath, relax, breathe easy. It's not going to be a problem. The reason this is happening is exactly the same as if we were trying to boot a PC off of an empty CD-ROM drive. So I'm going to close this down, power off the virtual machine. Here's my virtual box manager and uh, I've created a new virtual machine called New Ubuntu. And I'm going to start that up. But first, before I start it up, I need to put a virtual CD into the virtual CD-ROM drive. Go down here to storage, click on storage, and it brings up this management window for looking after storage. Under the IDE controller, there's a slot for an empty CD-ROM. Let's click on that. Over on the right hand side, it will let us choose a CD, an actual CD, or a CD image file that we can use as the CD-ROM to boot off of. Click on the little CD icon right here. My system automatically finds that there is um, an image file for Ubuntu 11.10 uh, already available. In case your system doesn't find it automatically for you, I'll show you how to choose that. Go to a virtual CD DVD disk file, and it'll bring up your document browser. And in this case, it's in my downloads window, or my downloads folder. Right here, Ubuntu 11.0 desktop i386.iso iso disk image file. That's what we want. I'll open that. You can see that that CD-ROM drive, the virtual CD-ROM drive, is no longer empty. Click on OK. And down here, back in the VirtualBox Manager, you can see under Storage that the CD DVD is hooked up to this ISO disk image file. And we'll boot off of that. Everything's now ready. We should be able to boot and not have that error message come up again. Start off, we get the standard VirtualBox boot window. And at the bottom of the screen here, you can see already the icons are coming up indicating that Ubuntu is running successfully. And in a moment, the boot icon will come up, and there's the boot screen for Ubuntu, so we know that everything is working properly. So if you have that problem show up with uh, the fatal error and that there's no boot medium found, remember it's not on your actual PC, it's on the virtual machine. And what you need to do is make sure that you have uh, a disk image file or something that you can boot off of attached to the drive of your virtual machine before you start it. If you have any more questions and you're one of my computer science students, feel free to get a hold of me and I'll try and walk you through the rest of the installation process or whip up a little video for you. Or alternatively, there are lots of videos on doing an Ubuntu installation on the internet. Just do a little search and you should be able to find one quite easily.